and welcome to Upon Further Review. I'm Josh Aubrey. Plenty to get to in this week's show. The region tournaments came to a close this past week. We'll send you out for highlights from Statesboro High where the Blue Devils were able to be successful on the girls' side in winning the region championship. The guys just lost again another heartbreaker. Last year they lost in the final seconds. This year they did it again, had the lead with less than 20 seconds to go, but weren't able to hold on. A couple of costly turnovers toward the end of that game. We'll let you know how they did. They'll both be hosting the state playoffs coming up this Friday, back-to-back -back games at 6 and 7.30 Friday. Also, congratulations to the Southeast Blue Yellow Jacket uh, Lady Jackets as they will be advancing to the state playoffs. They'll be starting things underway this weekend as well. As for the Georgia Southern Eagles, the uh, women uh, split a pair of games at home this past week. The guys uh, did likewise uh, on the road. We actually were able to win two games on the road, got themselves back in a great position in the Sun Belt Conference. We're also going to send you over to Statesboro High where they had seven signings. We also had one signing over at Portal. So plenty to get to. We'll have that and much more coming up next. And a reminder before we go to break, hopefully you'll never be in an accident, but if so, please give our friends at the Sullivan Law Firm a call, 912-489-8888, or online at thesullivanlawfirm.com. The Medical Center Pharmacy on Grenade Street is proud to be your Health Mart Pharmacy in Statesboro. The Medical Center Pharmacy, locally owned and serving this community for 50 years, is open 364 days a year. The pharmacists at Medical Center know there's nothing more important than your family's well-being. That's why they take the time to know their customers, explain their medications, and answer any questions. The Medical Center Pharmacy, your Health Mart Pharmacy. Health Mart, caring for you and about you. Well, the Georgia Southern women had back-to-back -back games Thursday and Saturday at Hanner Fieldhouse. Thursday, not too much success. Saturday, they had a great game. Let's send you back out for some of the highlights. The Georgia Southern Lady Eagles opening up a two-game homestand Thursday, hosting Arkansas Little Rock, the first half, and the Trojans heat up from outside. The Eagles try and answer Sarah Moore inside for the hoop and the foul. Next, Subasa Nisbet comes through with the basket inside. Then off the inbounds, Alexis Brown with the corner three. But the Trojans end up being too much on this night. Teal Battle goes in for two and Little Rock wins 65-49. We move ahead to Saturday and it was Pack the House in Pink Day before a good crowd. The Eagles with the early lead. Maya Burns goes in for the layup. Next, Tatum Barber hits the three and the foul. The four-point play, she'd have 14 points on the night. Haley Diaz-Allen then comes up with the rebound and put back. The Red Wolves try and respond from long range. Morgan Wallace, three of her 17. Georgia Southern right back. Barber off the glass for two more. Next, a nice look from Alexis Brown to Allen. She hits inside again. And then Allen from 17 feet away. Next up, a nice feed inside to Nikki McDonald. She finishes. Jaden Hamilton then catches fire, knocking down the three pointer. Hamilton then with a rare miss, but Burns there for the rebound and the putback. And then Amira Atwater able to give the Eagles a 10-point lead. And finally, it's Hamilton, three more of her game-high 25 points, including seven threes. Eagles win 80 to 67. Next up, the women on the road. The guys are gonna be at home. They're nine and five in conference play right now. They'll have Coastal Carolina coming up Thursday night at seven o'clock at Hanner Fieldhouse, followed by four o'clock matchup on Saturday as they'll be hosting Appalachian State. Stay with us. Coming up next, we'll take a look at some high school highlights. My Queensboro biker is Cheryl Quick. Blanchard Equipment Company has 16 locations. 
Queensboro has homegrown values just like us. They get heavily involved in every community. And that means strong customer service. They've been around a long time, just like John Deere. When you run across a bank like that, you stick with them. I sure would like to own one of these John Deeres. Well, we could sure make that happen. Oh, well. Queensboro is your community bank. Queensboro National Bank and Trust. One Eighty Fitness prides itself on offering the best facility, classes, programs, and staff in Statesboro. More than just a gym, they're a family. Knowledgeable staff always on site to help you. Free group fitness classes, over forty-five to choose from. Free supervised childcare. Workout worry-free while they watch your children. With the new expanded weight floor, cardio equipment, and resistance machines, One Eighty has everything you need. The only gym in Statesboro with a sauna. The Evolve Training System offers both small group and one-on-one -on -one training to fit any budget. Located inside 180 is Statesboro's best kept secret, The Zone. The Zone is an inspiring community where you are motivated, supported, and celebrated through a unique fitness experience. With the use of heart rate monitor, you're able to train in your own individualized zone while tracking real-time results. The combination of cardio, endurance, and strength workouts will give you the lasting results you've been looking for. First class is free, your body, your zone, real results. Come see why 180 Fitness has been voted the best of the borough for the last 12 years. Well, the Statesboro Blue Devils uh, opening up with a couple of pretty impressive wins in the region tournament, got them into the championship game. They were both taking on Wayne County, a rematch of last year's uh, matchups in Jessup. Last year, the girls were able to win and advance as a number one seed in the state tournament. The guys lost in the final seconds to Wayne County, had to settle for the number two seed. Same thing this time around. The girls were able to win a pretty close game with Wayne and the guys were able or unfortunately lost a tight one in the last seconds to Wayne County. Let's send you back for the highlights. Statesboro High hosting New Hampstead for the opening round of the region tournament. We pick things up in the first half, and Madison Lee stops and pops from 15. Later, it's Jemiah Jones knocking down the three-pointer. The Blue Devils hot from outside, especially in the first quarter as Lacey Robbins hits another. Jones then lets another fly herself. It's nothing but the bottom of the net. And then it's Alexis Ward adding to the three-point total. Statesboro out to an 18-3 lead. Next, Jones to Bailey Roberts inside. More from Robbins just inside the three-point line. She hits the jumper. Lee will later find Roberts inside. Nice dish on the bounce pass. More from Jones. Somehow she gets this one to fall. She'd have 22 points in the game. Here are two more. Statesboro out to a 30 to nine lead as Lee finds Robbins. We move ahead to the second half and it's Jones from up top. She pulls the trigger. Jones then the friendly bounce. And then it's Lacey Robbins, the bank shot on the off-balance jumper. And then it's Robbins to Janiah Joseph. Statesboro advances easily, winning 59-15. to To the boys' game we go. Statesboro semifinal matchup with Ware County. This one all Blue Devils. Kobe Altman starts things off in the corner with the three. Zarion Griffin from up top hits for three more. Altman continues to like that corner spot. He hits another three, then Altman pulls up from 15. He'd have 16 points in the first half alone, 14 in the first quarter. Griffin later somehow gets this one to fall off the glass. Altman then for three more of his 20 points in the game. Henry Humphreys will then hit the corner three. Maybe a foul, no call though. Joe Burns then with the baseline jumper. Statesboro on top, 20 to six. Tim Taylor later on the break gets this one to fall and the foul. Griffin 
Then the nice pass to Humphreys for two more. A rare miss, but no problem. Griffin, the nice rebound and put back. He'd have 17 points in the first half. Humphreys finishes with another layup. And then it's Griffin going to the basket hard. Statesboro out to a 52 to 18 halftime lead. Much of the same in the second half. Leslie Black goes strong to the basket for two. Griffin next, the rebound and put back. He'd have 20 points as well. Griffin continuing to have success attacking the rim. And finally, it's Humphreys fighting his way up for two more of his 11 points as Statesboro advances winning 77 to 33. Statesboro High hosting the region championship Friday night against Wayne County. First half action and it's Lacey Robbins spotting up and knocking down the three-pointer. Next, Madison Lee will pull up from 15 feet away and she knocks it down. Robbins then the nice look inside to a cutting Bailey Roberts for the layup. Statesboro up early. The Yellow Jackets fight back behind Tara Ward. As she hits for two, the Blue Devils right back. Lee with a tough shot off the glass. On the other end, Ward hits for two more. Jemiah Jones keeping Statesboro in it as she penetrates and makes the off-balance shot. But Wayne County right back. This basket would help them to a four-point halftime lead. The Blue Devils would start to make a run in the third quarter. Robbins with the layup. She finished with 21 points. Ward answers with Wayne, and she have 23 points. Robbins then hits the three. Statesboro up by two. A big play here as Ward is called for the offensive foul, her fourth of the game with Ward on the sideline. Statesboro promptly goes on a 12-0 run. Robbins starts it off. Next, Lee from 15 gets a friendly bounce. Jones then good pass to Alexis Ward. And then it's Jones, the nice fade away. Statesboro up by eight. Ward limited minutes, but she'd make the most of them with the long three. Statesboro too much. Lee for two more. And then it's Jones spinning another fade away and the foul. As the Blue Devils win their second straight region title by a final score of 52 to 42. To the boys game we go, and after blowing out Wayne County twice in the regular season, Friday night's championship proved to be a roller coaster ride. The Blue Devils started off with Sarion Griffin. Next, Joe Burns, the three-pointer and the foul. He completes the four-point play. Blue Devils by four, but TJ Ellis knocks down the baseline jumper as Wayne comes back. Statesboro answering Leslie Black, the nice reverse and the foul. Wayne County responds as Jakari Slay hits the basket in traffic. Griffin then heats up as he'd make the next 10 points for the Blue Devils. First the three, next the off-balance runner that he's able to throw in somehow. Then Griffin for the hoop and the foul. Statesboro up by two at the half. In the second half, Wayne County coming back. Trey Johnson hits inside. Statesboro responds with Griffin on the reverse. He finished with 23 points. More from Griffin as he has this one go at the buzzer in the end of the third. A couple of questionable calls in the second half. Trey Chauncey way off on the layup. This one called Wayne County ball. On the next play, B.J. Wright hits a 30-foot three-pointer. He'd have four of these in a row to give Wayne a three-point lead. Griffin responds for Statesboro, the hoop and the foul. Next inside we go. It's Black inside for another two. Jacoby Enfield then hits the three-pointer from way downtown. Statesboro by one. Griffin forced to the sidelines with cramps at the end of the game. Joe Burns trying to take up the slack as he drives and comes up with a cramp himself. A minute and a half to go. Statesboro up by one. And things start to go bad for the Blue Devils. First, the turnover here. Still up by one. Time winding out, Griffin's pass is stolen. Griffin then makes the foul. Shamar Taylor sinks both free throws to give Wayne a one point lead. Statesboro still with a chance, but the inbounds pass will be stolen by Taylor who goes all the way in for the layup 
and they're going to let the fans hear about it. Things get a little crazy after the buzzer sounds as the Jackets finish the upset, winning 49-46. So up next, Statesboro will be hosting uh, the opening round of the state, a doubleheader, Jones County for the girls. That game starting at 6 o'clock. The guys will be playing immediately afterwards at 7.30. Stay with us. We'll be having some uh, signings from Statesboro High and over at Portal coming up next. Family Internal Medicine Associates of Statesboro providing primary care for Statesboro area patients since 1998. Providing complete physicals, complete sports physicals, Medicare wellness exams, full diabetes treatment, and education from lifestyle changes to oral medications to insulin pump therapy, in-house dermatology, in-house circulation tests, and ultrasounds, and in-house labs. Featuring nurse practitioner Melissa Beasley, Family Internal Medicine of Statesboro can accommodate same-day or next-day appointments to serve your needs. Family Internal Medicine and Associates of Statesboro, where we care. A sports injury can stop you in your tracks. At Optum Orthopedics, our specialized physicians and staff use advanced orthopedic procedures with one specific goal in mind, to get you back to you. If you have a sports injury, request an evaluation. Experience the Optum difference. Credit Refused isn't just an offer, it's a way of business and has been for over 100 years. No banks, no ridiculous credit requirements, just local Badcock store owners who treat you right and give you credit when others won't. It's never been easier to express your style and love your home. Well, this past Wednesday was National Signing Day. It's been a big deal for the uh, football side of things, and we'll hear from head coach Chad Lunsford in just a moment. But first, we're going to send you out for some of the highlights from uh, our area high school athletes signing letters of intent, seven at Statesboro and one over at Portal. Trust your eyes to the team that takes care of the Eagles. Professional Eye Care of Statesboro offers a full range of medical eye care, in addition to a wide assortment of glasses, sunglasses, and contact lenses to suit your style. I'm Dr. Horace Deal. Allow me or one of my associates to provide you with comprehensive medical eye care. And we can help you select from a variety of glasses and contact lenses here at Professional Eye Care of Statesboro. Um, so the program, like, it's one of the, it's, rate, it's top eight in the nation, like, across the boards. That's where the Raging Cajuns are ranked and just everything about it. Like the softball program, they all work as a family. Like just from watching practice on my visit, everything was just family oriented and it's everything. Really, I'm feeling just full of excitement. Like I cannot wait to move to Lafayette. Like everything, when I went on my official, it was just, it felt like home to me. It felt like another state spur, just the fans, everything. It's a softball town and that's all I've ever wanted. So recruiting was kind of stressful, but you know, that just comes with the territory and stuff like that. But. When I, first time I met Coach Willie, you know, he was kind of talkative, you know, I liked that. He had good personality, you know, met the guys, you know, they're cool and everything and looking forward to it. For Georgia, I'm ready to go up to it. It's in the mountains, you know, get to experience a new type of golf, mountain golf and stuff like that, you know. Coach Worley's running a good program over there. I'm looking forward to it. Well, I'm really excited. You know, it's a great opportunity to be to go play college baseball. It's kind of been my dream for a while. You know, I really love the sport. And uh, their coach reached out to me not too long ago, and I went up there for a visit and just kind of loved the coaching staff. The campus was very nice, and nice facilities, and a great program that I'm looking to get into. And I'm just looking forward to it. I'm excited. When I first visited Point, I just, like I knew going four hours away, I wanted another family at home. And so when I first went and visited, the players just welcomed me with love and encouragement for the team. And when on the campus, I fell in love with it. And so, 
yeah, just the big family aspect of college was a big deal for me. Uh, it feels great to be signing to Albany State. I feel like it's a great choice for me because it's close to home and there's a lot of friends and family out there already. And I really like their football program. I like what they're doing. I just want to go be a part of it. Uh, I love the program Coach Quinn got going on there. I feel like this is the best further my academic athletic career. Just the vibe. When I went there, it felt like home. And I, that's what I wanted in my college. That's what I was looking for. And I want to be there in my four years. Uh, it was, it's the best opportunity for me uh, athletically in my education. And I, a lot of connection. I love the coaches. I see myself fitting in a lot. I fit they, I fit they playbook a lot. When I went on my official visit to Georgia Southern, I really loved how close the girls were and how welcoming they were and how they were just like a family. And so um, after my visit, I was just kind of thinking, and I had talked to a few other schools, but Georgia Southern just stuck with me and it's close to home, so I won't be moving too far away because I'm a homebody. Um, and I've just always loved Georgia Southern anyway, so I thought it was a perfect fit. The coaching staff, uh, actually, one of them is, helps coach us um, with my year-round swim team, and the head coach, Amanda, she's actually my coach's um, wife. So I'll be going from being coached by the husband to coaching by the wife, <laughs> which I find pretty cool. And I'm just really excited about being a part of the team. But overall, I think this is a really, really good class. Uh, I think we've put two good classes uh, back to back, um, you know, as far as what we're trying to build with our program, uh, finding the right, the right people, good players on the field, good students, good character, uh, and really build, building a great foundation. I think there was 14 or 15 of our classes, three-star guys. But to be honest with you, I don't, I don't look at that kind of stuff. Um, you, you know, once, one, when a guy gets ranked and uh, let's just say he's a three-star athlete, well, whoever's looking at him and whoever's judging them may not be a college football coach. Um, and, and not to say that it's not uh, some merit to it, but he's looking, whoever this person is that's looking at these guys and rating these guys, they're looking at their athleticism, they're looking at what type of player they are, uh, but there's a lot more that goes into it for us. I mean, we got to know what he does off the field, we got to know what he does in the classroom, uh, we got to know what he does on the field. Uh, we've got to be able to watch highlight tapes, but then also watch game tapes. Uh, and then we got to look at camp evaluations. There's so many different things that go into it, so I don't get caught up in stars. Uh, I, I've been at places before where you did, um, and then you don't always get the right fit. So again, I'm not real sure what we got star-wise. I really don't care. Um, I, I know we got the right people for Georgia Southern football. So Georgia Southern with only four signings this past uh, Wednesday, but they had quite a few in the early signing period. But the two quarterbacks was a pretty big deal for Georgia Southern. They had one in the early signing and three overall. We'll see how that pans out for them coming up in the fall. And as for our area high school athletes, congratulations on their signings as well. All right, thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you again next week.